Okay, this one enemy is making this actually kind of dangerous. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I'd like to heal, please. I. I. You. Jesus, dude. My guess is Margaret. We're not gonna watch the cutscene. There's no point. Not Godric. Holy crap, are you kidding me? Today's video has been brought to you thanks to the support of the wonderful folks over at Patreon.com, and it is linked in the video description if you would like to join them for as little as $1 per month. Thank you once again to them. I'm not high, right? Like, that's an enemy. Right? Like that, that ball on the... That's one of those... Yeah, that's one of those face ball things, which are really creepy and oddly, insanely easy to kill. It's just a very... It's an odd enemy. Like, it's creepy. But, like, this thing will never kill you. What the hell, bro? Well, who did that? It's a geezer on a ballista. Stop doing that. You can shoot this thing if you want. He's actually shooting it. <laughs> he killed him. You nerd. I got nothing for that, but I thought I'd try. The lesson is never try. Well, there's a side grace right here. I'll probably never use it, but I'll get it anyway. Well, anyhow, we got the map, and we sort of did that section. Like, we, we get in there, man. We got a little tiny bit more ground to cover, and then we are... We are right to Castle Redmain. Right here, by the way. Right here. Yes, this enemy is normally one of those lion dudes. You know, the ones with the uh, the saw blade, like, the sword or whatever it is attached to their... attached to their leg. See, that's why he dropped a bunch of stuff, because normally... Nox Flowing Hammer. That's right, I want to upgrade the, uh, the Nox Whippy thing. We will do that. We will do that. Next time we go back to the Round Table Hold, I will not forget. Maybe. There's a teleporter there, but that one's not working. I wonder why. You know, I just realized, because that lion is guaranteed to drop items, and again, whoever replaces it is guaranteed to drop items, but randomized, that means that I should go kill whatever replaces the two lions in that little fortressy thing that we use to teleport here. So, as soon as we get another side of grace, we will go do that. It's surprising how easy these things are when you know to just bonk them in the giant head. Oh, I didn't realize that was a, a pit of doom. Treasure gobble. Starfist? I didn't even know that was a thing. Okay, interesting. Okay, so there's a door there. I feel like that door's locked, but I'm not actually certain. And there's someone with blue magic behind that trying to murder me horribly. But I don't think we can go in there yet. So yeah, when we came to Redmain in the blind run, apparently we came during the festival, which is why there were a bunch of enemies just not here. That was a weird way of phrasing it, which is why there were almost no enemies. And that's why there's a lot of enemies now, because if you come pre or post festival, the enemies are back. So during the festival, it's only those like giant lion things. Yeah, as is my understanding, that's what people told me. And would anyone lie to me? No. Satisfying. Deeply satisfying. Okay, too many, too many things. Too many things. Okay, it's, it's too much damage. I rolled the wrong way. That, see, this is why lock on fucks you. Lock-on just sent me, like, into the Shadow Realm right there. Wait, stop. Just, just, just stop it. No, I hate you and your bloody shit. I can't get through the door, man. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. All right, we're fine. We almost won, but we're fine. And now you... Oh, no. Is that... That's an electrical orb. No, you knocked down the wall! That was... <laughs> oh, no! I was relying on that so he couldn't see me. Good God, man. You trying to get me killed? Well, yes. Oh, fair enough. Okay. But, uh, look at this carnage in this doorway, dude. Ooh. Zero glintstone stuff. Okay. And gravel stones. Eh. I think this is with the door that we saw. Yes, okay, so that's the blue that we saw glowing. Mystery solved. Yeah, so I think these two shambling dudes... Used to be lions. So let's kill them. They're the same enemy. That's that's weird. Let's kill them and see if we get stuff. Yes, exactly. Okay, so this would normally be dropping a bunch of lion based gear and we got junk, but it could have been something good, Sir Joe Flame. Is this a banished knight? It is. Oof. Okay. Okay, just gonna, gonna back up from that one and we're gonna give you one of these. Did you and your friend, you deserve this. I get right. Oh no. I'm fine. He's not. 
call an ambulance. But not for me. No, no, no. I need, I need, I need your flasks. I have none. Literally none. Yep. Yeah, there's another teleporter here that's not working either. I don't know what turns them on or off. For some of them, it's like sucking their toes. You know, it really depends on the, on the teleporter, really. Night gauntlets. And... A short sword, you know, it's, it's me. Alright, so I think just past that jellyfish is the uh, the entrance to the boss. That's exciting. Can't wait to get killed. I suppose, I mean, he's probably not Star Scourge. Uh, we got to find him at some point. We could get lucky, and he might end up being in a really low level area. But, um, you got to remember, whatever we fight here, unless it's a really easy boss, he's still going to be scaled to being, like, Radon Strength. So, you know. Ooh. I almost forgot this was here. That's exciting. That saves me a lot of backtracking if I die, which, let's be honest, we're probably going to. Okay. It's actually, it's a pretty good Ash of War. I, I thought it was not great, but it's really good for stunning, like, entire crowds. All right, moment of truth. What is going on in here? Isn't this the lobby where you hang out with a bunch of dudes? Oh. Is a boss in here normally? Really? Oh, it's a crucible night, apparently. Okay, so yeah, if you come here not during the hunt, apparently instead of you know, a waiting room for a bunch of dudes, you've got a crucible night. Interesting. Well, I've got to be honest, I think we got a dispatch of this uh, fool rather easy. I think this is the very first watchdog in the game. Like in that, in that catacomb, like just outside the starting area in the... Uh, Plateau. I can't, I can't remember the name of the area. You know what I'm saying. The first area. Oh, healing, baby. Thanks. Yeah, it's really interesting. I don't know what actually activates the festival. My guess, and it is purely a guess because I genuinely don't know, is that it's possibly killing other rune bearers. Maybe when you kill one or two of them, that's what activates it. Is this, is this not an enemy? Oh, it's a dude in the chat. I don't, I don't know if I've ever met this NPC. Uh, actually, it's probably the guy that's normally here, but again, you know, randomized clothing. Alright, I see no lootations. Hello? Oh, tarnished are you? How did you slip inside with the gate closed? I think this is him? No matter. If you can fell one of them, you're a champion in my book. I am Jaren, foolish old warrior and witness. Incidentally, do you like a good festival from time to time? Well, it's true. This fortress houses only the vanquished. But when the stars align, we celebrate. A war festival honoring the last battle and death of General Radan, the mightiest demigod of the Shattering and bearer of a great rune. Yeah, I love a good festival, me. Well, Can't get enough of them. As you should. The festival affords glory to warriors. Then all you need is a little patience. When the stars align... Yeah, but what does that mean? When the do the stars align, bro? Will be declared. Have patience. When the star... Hmm, can I just go in anyway? Oh, maybe I could... What? Can you really not fight Radan yet? Oh crap! That's that's really throwing a wrench in my. Uh, maybe maybe. You could... I'm sorry about this, buddy. I, to be honest, he probably drops the key or something. I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna murder him. I'm gonna murder him. I can't murder him. They won't let you attack here. You win this round. Hang on. Oh, you can't attack like at all here. I thought maybe I could like switch to magic and shoot him over the line. No. Well. <sighs> That's real. We may have to do the thing that like generates hints. I think we. I think we might be reaching that point. Like I'm. Right, I mean, we got the dragon barrow. I really don't want to try doing the dragon barrow at this level. Okay, so this part's interesting and actually is exactly what we thought. Academy glintstone key used to access blah 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 blah. There are two versions of this key item. Only the version that says a glintstone key will remember its user works here. Yeah. So that's the one we need, and we don't have it. Again, let me show you this. It says there is an optional feature. To purchase map marker hints when you are stuck, if enabled, they are available for purchase from Kale in the Church of LA. 
I don't think I've enabled that. Now, I don't know that you can enable that partway through, but I guess we could try. So it looks like you can indeed enable this stuff mid-run, which is interesting. What is it? Purchase a required item marker. Get to the Altus Plateau first. Goodbye. What? That doesn't help me at all. <laughs> that doesn't help me at all, dude. Okay, so I'm currently unable to figure out how the hell you can do this any other way, apart from there is a locations text file, as you can see. And it says, basically, the way we've got the mode set up, that these are considered key item locations, and therefore there will be something important here replacing it. So normally this is where you get the left Dectus Medallion. I don't know what we got there, but I know we searched that, for example. Flask upgrade, blah, 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 blah. So we need to basically make sure we've hit up every merchant and every one of these important places. This might take a while. Okay, so apparently there's a merchant along the road towards Fort Height, Height, whatever it's called. Uh, and Blythe is showing up over here, but there's no merchant showing up remotely in this area. So somewhere here-ish, I believe we are missing a merchant. Open for business, that's right. We did find this guy on the blind road. Well, yeah, we actually missed this dude. Right, so hopefully, yeah, this geezer has got something important. Yeah, 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 stop talking. Hold on. Bap. All right. What do you have? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. This guy had the rusty key the entire time. But hey, that means we can get Stormbound now. That's a big deal. Also, he's packing. Oh my god, is he packing. And we can actually afford all of this. We'll buy that, actually, because that will allow us to buy spells. The spells will be randomized, but still. I think this... Yeah, okay, I think I know how this works. Oh, there's an Ash of War. Well, still, that could be useful for us. What is this? Oh, you can get the Pest uh, attack, but it's a Faith thing, so, so we don't want that. Lord of Blood's Robe. Mushrooms. We'll buy the Beast Blood because it's cheap and it's good. All right. We got real lucky here, to be honest, that out of all the things that we missed that we need to check... Well, I don't know how many things we really missed, but... This was the first thing where I was like, well, we missed this. Let's check it. Bam. Key straight away. Very happy. Let's go to Stormvale. And why, well, yes, before I forget, we're going to use all of those flask upgrades that we just bought. Now, yes, we are probably way too strong for Stormvale, but that's fine. At least we get to do it. And this will be somewhere, finally, where a room bearer is. And that might... Oh, that was close. And that might actually allow us to equip... Godric's great rune that we've had for God knows how long. I mean, we've even literally killed God Godric somewhere else. And I don't know why, I've just got a really funny feeling that whoever replaces Godric here is going to be very easy, but we shall see. No, you know what? Actually, i got a feeling this might be Margit. I realize every time I've called, like, oh, I think it might be this boss, it never is. But, I'm still... But, I'm... <laughs> That's so annoying. But I'm sticking with my guess. I've been wrong every time so far. Statistics say eventually I've got to be right, you know? Even a stop clock is right twice a day. Biggie boo. That will never not be fun. Come hither. I'm going to knock you off the edge with it. Uh, or... Or you can do it all on your own. Oh, that's, uh, that's like a statue. I thought that was an enemy. Right, so we want... Ooh, Trolls Roar. So we want these things because they're purple. The other one, all the way around there... No, this one, actually, is a pain in the ass to get to. you got to go from, like, outside and drop into it from over there. I believe you need to be on that lip, if I remember correctly. But this one over here, very easy to get to. Clowned. I'm used to, like, having a two-hit everything. I feel so strong now. I've become more beast than man. Roll remains helm, thank you. So, yes, it's interesting that apparently... They have random... And again, you can you can change all this because it's very customizable. So they have randomized key items with key items. So for example, because this is not normally an important item, it will not be an important item. As you can see. But it's still sometimes going to be cool stuff. So it's still worth looting. What does this do? What does it do? Red Scarab worn directly on the head. The Red Scarabs roll clumps of Crimson Tears during the labor. Slightly increase the recovery effect of the Flask of Crimson Tears. But increases damage taken... As Garbo, why would anyone use that? So I believe... Ooh, legendary. It's a good relic sword. I still forgot to upgrade. Uh, we gotta go from up there and drop down there. I still forgot to upgrade the uh, the whippy thing, like trick weapon. But then again, I don't think we've been back to the round table since then, so... Eh. Yeah, so you gotta drop down here. I almost missed it. 
Uh, okay, we're good. Yeah, so this is how you get to the uh, the other purple thing. Well, I guess it's white this time, but normally it's purple, and this is normally uh, one of those Aeonia leaves. This bloody root resin. Well, it was worth trying. Vare's bouquet. Ooh. See, a lot of these things I had no idea even existed. Like, I've never seen most of this stuff. Was it blood loss build up? Predictably, it looks like a, a bouquet of flowers, weirdly enough, and it's a hammer. That's really cool. A steel mace resembling a charming bouquet of roses. Each petal has a sharpened edge, leaving the roses perpetually colored with blood. This weapon reflects White Mask Vare's manner of speech rather than well enticing in its splendor, but full of deadly consequence. Skill, Blood Tax. Blood Oath skill granted by the Lord of Blood. Twist the build power, then unleash a flurry of thrusts that rob the target of both their blood and their HP. Okay. That sounds like a potentially good weapon to upgrade. We've got a lot of, a lot of cool weapons now. A lot of cool weapons. So, very soon we are going to stop using this thing. It has served us well, but we are due a replacement. Gravekeeper Cloak, huh? How frustrating, though. The one merchant that we missed was the one merchant that had a thing we actually needed to progress. I mean, we got it now. And better late than never, right? Like, we're not, you know, like level 100, but we're like 65. So, still, it's pretty damn late to become the Stormvale. But I'm sure there are people in the existence of the planet that they have gone to Stormvale at level 65. I'm sure it's happened. Twinsies! Oh, bless your heart. I can two-shot you. Bless your heart. But be honest and tell me that I'm wrong, right? This is recompense. We went through Kaelid early. We went through a good chunk of the Dragon Barrow early. You know, we're due, we're due a break. This is this is a break at the moment. We could still run into some horrible enemy encounters here, but at the moment, this is our break. I don't know really where I am. I'm just, I'm going down here. What could possibly go wrong? Really hope I've got a stone sword key for this. Don't actually know if I do. Apparently I do. Delightful. I hear some clunking around. Ooh, a purple. I think this might, in fact, be one such key item. Sentry's Torch. Uh, no. No, it is not. Oh! oh, I'm not kidding. That actually frightened the bloody life out of me. Like, when you saw the screen shake, that was a genuine reaction. So there is a boss down there. We definitely want to murder him. And I'm guessing, because he drops a gold seed, that will count as a key item? Like an important item? So that guy will probably have something good. Hopefully the other half of the rolled medallion. Or Dectus medallion, sorry. Isn't this where the, um... Yeah, it's where the dudes patrol. Like, oh, it's you. That's adorable. What is that noise? What is going on? Ooh. Ah, that's probably what those uh, roly polyolies were beaming at us. I think the Mimic's Veil is, like, in this room here. Don't know if that counts as a, like a key special item or something. Let's find out. If this is something good, then yes. Uh, testing conclusive pants on head. Wow, a rat and one of those weird chimera fellas. They look appropriate. Again, it's really odd every time that the randomizer puts something. Hello. I've never got that chest, by the way. I actually don't know how to get it. Uh, put something in a place where it looks like it makes sense. Like, this slug here doesn't make sense. Yo, legendary. No. No, don't tempt me, Frodo. Don't tempt me, Frodo! Yeah, I'm going I'm going through proper arse backwards. I can see a treasure gobble from here. I can see my health from here. I gotta do it. Oh, we're gonna meet, um, what's his name? You know, the guy with the, the leg problem. You know the guy. I really wanted that to hit you both. Yeah, man. Rogier, that's his name. That's right, I remembered it. Okay, so originally, I dropped in from like a window or so. Yeah, from up there. That's how I got uh, That's how I got in here on my first playthrough. God, what on earth are you wearing, dude? Holy crap, who dressed you? Did Stevie Wonder dress you in the dark? Ah. Nice to meet you. Right, we've heard all the this dialogue, so we don't care. If it's new dialogue, exactly. we care. I'm here to defeat Godric, even though I've already out. killed him. I'm but, on, still, I'm privy. Would you care to learn as a fellow? 
<laughs> Learn skills. He's got glowstone, some some <laughs> some sunflowers, and a, and a bone, which is a weapon to be fair. And it's cheap, so I'll buy it. But that's just funny. Uh, the they were in the past. Fascinating. That the golden with the ore such adaptive. Oh crap! I bought a glowstone. Bye. Yeah, I really like Stormvale. It's so like intricately designed. Like this place is mass. Like there are games that are not as big as Stormvale Castle and are not as well designed as Stormvale Castle. Like, it is so impressive. It really is. Like, a lot of people just focus on the negatives too much. They're like, well, this one boss is bullshit, so I hate the whole game. I'm like, man, are you forgetting there's bad bosses in every game? Like, Dark Souls 3, yeah, that's probably the only game where there's not really anything offensively bad. But there's a lot of meh in Dark Souls 3 as well. There's a lot of, When it's good, it's really good. But there's a lot of meh, like forgettable stuff in Dark Souls 3. Purple. Iron Kassa. Kassa, Kassa, Kassa. I really shouldn't take this helmet off because it's giving me tons of magic. But I do want to wear a colander on my head. That's pretty cool. There's a legendary item there. How do I get to that? I actually don't know. Oh, I just find it so interesting the way you get some encounters where they're basically ruined by the randomizer, right? Like, the, the whole point of the, the Hawks is that they work up here and they work in, in conjunction with the fire barrels. Which, by the way, is this not the only place in the entire game where they do that? Kind of strange, right? Like, the them throwing the barrels at you mechanic. I don't think they use it anywhere else. By the way, there's somewhere to drop down. I think it's here, actually. And there's, like, a super secret path to a, uh, a Crucible Knight. But we'll do that in a minute because I believe there's a site of Gracious around the corner. But anyway, yeah, and, and then the randomizer, equally, there's certain places where normally it would be completely trivial and really not that interesting. And then because of the randomizer, it suddenly becomes super cool. So, you know, peaks and troughs. The randomizer giveth and the randomizer taketh away. Okay, so I've looped finally all the way around. That took ages, my word. Fun, though. So we've got an elevator there that we haven't used. I believe that's right next to where the... Uh, grafted sun is patrolling like in the big main hall downstairs we actually could have got the elevator but we didn't but it, it doesn't really matter because again we're going this way anyway to get the uh, the stuff that we missed so let's go down here and head towards where the crucible knight would be i don't think it counts as a boss so i don't think it will therefore be replaced as a boss i think it's just going to be a scrub enemy it's basically a mini boss because obviously it doesn't respawn so whatever it does uh become will possibly drop something i can't remember if the crucible knight normally drops something Am I not going the right way? Or do I need to be on this ledge? I don't remember how to get down here safely. I guess this is correct. If I remember correctly. Yep, this breaks underneath you. That's what I was about to say. Don't worry, the bush will save me. What is that noise? Oh, treasure gobble. Don't fall off the edge. You can fall. I don't want to fall off the edge. Acceptable. Yep, so this is his replacement. Hello. <laughs> yeah, okay, so he did drop something. Nothing good, but still. Oh, hang on. Actually, maybe this is where the elevator is. Maybe I was completely and utterly wrong. Well, having said that, there's definitely an elevator down there. But maybe just not the same one. It would make sense if this was the one that took me... Oh, it's this one? Oh. Hello, dead rent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, again, I think that's the main hall one. Yeah, so once again, I've never been over there. And I don't know how to. So I'm going to try and figure out how to, because obviously there's a chest, there's another item there, plus whatever's on that balcony, but how does one do it? That I don't know. Eh, whatever, we'll worry about that later. For now, let's, uh, ow. Ow. Hello. Oh, okay, two for one, today's special. A jeweler's moonblade. We're getting a lot of cool sorceries, finally. And the black knife. Hmm. The black knife, eh? It's a dagger, predictably. It's a faith weapon. God damn it. Right, so anyway, we picked up the inseparable sword. I believe that's the one that transfer it says it's a faith weapon. No, never mind, that's something else. Uh Sacred Relic Sword, that's what we picked up in here. It's a faith weapon. <laughs> so the one of these we wanted I think it's this one, yes. This is the one we want to upgrade. So we shall. Ooh. I think that's magic, right? It's just like gravity magic, but I think it's still magic. Ow. Ishii's Mitterhelm, thank you. 
I gotta do it, dude. I gotta do it. Oh, stop it! Hold on. Let me let me gather. Let me gather them up, and then bap. All right. It had to be done. And I do it again. Bop, bop. All right, you you're a tough. You're a halic tree enemy. I just realized. Yeah, you're a, you're a big boy. He can heal as well. Are you kidding me, dude? What the hell? You can do that? Oh my word. Okay, this one enemy is making this actually kind of dangerous. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'd like to heal, please. I... I... You... Jesus, dude. Holy crap, I almost died. Whoa! Okay, so even in a low-level area, do not underestimate a high-level enemy. My word. Okay, was wasn't expecting that. I, oh my health! Oh my health! Oh my health! Oh my health! Ah! Oh. You suck! Stop! Good lord! See, this is the problem. There's so many enemies out here that it, it's still really dangerous. That's a bleed dog. It was a bleed dog. There's an item up here. I have a feeling it's going to be good. It's purple? If we were a faith build, that would be good, but we're not. Is there a painting in here? Yes, yes there is. I don't think there's any any enemies in here. Acceptable. Oh, there's so much purple around here. Sword of Saint Trina. That also sounds like a bloody faith weapon, you know, what with saint in it. But uh, you never know. Oh, it's intelligent. Oh, okay, All right, fair enough. Oh, it makes them sleep. Hmm. Hmm. Mists of slumber. Unique skill. It releases a faint purple mist that spreads across a wide frontward area. This mist inflicts sleep ailments upon foes. That sounds really cool. We will check that out as well. So we're probably going to upgrade this and the Nox Flowing Sword. They've got swords. Nox Flowing Swords. I really wish we had more carry weight. Like, I really, really do. I'm going to get rid of the shield for now. Because I want to be able to switch to this and then just go... Not like that. And then just go, wah! That's pretty cool, dude. Legendary. Alright, so this is the item that we saw ages ago. However. Sight of grace. Because we are dying of poison. Ba -ba -ba -bam! Radan's gauntlets. Eh. Acceptable. Probably one of the least exciting legendary items. But you can't win them all, you know? Why did I do that? I just realized, well, they're all going to come back now. Oh, god damn it. We've still got to go down the hill and check all that out, but I'm going to head towards, uh, you know, air quotes, Godric. It was just in that direction, actually, I think. And we'll do that part afterwards. So I am I am a wee child, and I, I want to see the boss. I have no patience. I'm of the TikTok generation. Ash of War, spinning weapon. All right, we're, we're finally getting some cool Ashes of War. The only problem is, actually, I think the two weapons that I said I want to upgrade, I think they both have unique skills. So, you know... We need to find something that's got a garbage Ash of War so we can replace it. So I think because gold seeds are considered important items, this will be an important item. Again, testing conclusive pants on head. Wow! That's pretty cool. How long do they stay asleep? Oh no, let's find out. Wow! Oh, I'll stop it! Wow! Oh, you're dead. That's disappointing. Sleep. Sleep. No, I'm not trying to kill you, bro. I'm just trying to put you to sleep. Ow! God, you're annoying. Ah! Okay, well, apparently they sleep for a long time. I gotta do it. Oof. That was right in the vagina, dude. That's just, that's just wrong. You never put anything in a vagina. I'm also gonna try to sleep on this boss. I doubt it'll work. We'll kill the treasure gob afterwards. I, I, I'm too excited. I want to see what the boss is. Margit, 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 Margit. My guess is Margit. We're not going to watch the cutscenes. No point. Not Godric. Holy crap, are you kidding me? <laughs> are you kidding me, dude? I don't think we're going to be able to put it to sleep. Let's just preemptively change weapons. It doesn't have all the health in the world, unlike the regular Elden Beast. But uh, this is a small arena. 
This is a very small arena for the Olden Beast. As you can see. It does have quite a bit of health though. I will say. More than Godric, I think. Because yeah, I, I feel like with our strength, if this was Godric, he'd be like half dead by now. So... You know. Ow. Can't really see you, you're in the statue. It's so loud! What's happening? I don't know what's happening! Alright, I mean, okay, alright, okay. Oh no. Oh no, that's the ring attack. You gotta jump the ring attack. Okay, alright, that's- whoa! Okay, that worked out. I can draw. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. I got a heal. Just the Elden Beast, no big deal. So it does seem like Rune Bearers are replacing Rune Bearers. And not that correlation equals causation. We've only seen one and it has been replaced by a Rune Bearer. So, I mean, that doesn't prove anything, but it doesn't disprove it either. And again, the randomizer is extremely customizable. I sound like I've been paid to promote it. Um, obviously I haven't. The randomizer is really customizable. You can basically make it so... Well, I know for a fact you can make it so every enemy is Melania, for example. You can make it so that every enemy is a boss. And at some point in the future, we may well go down that route. Just for the absolute lunacy of it. But at the moment, we're doing something that seems plausible. I can't crit him from here, unfortunately. I'm surprised you can even stagger the freaking Elden Beast, dude. I'd like to point out, we're winning. We're actually winning. I mean, the arena is not helping either of us, but I think it's actually more of a detriment to the Elden Beast. I'm just gonna run away. Don't, don't really know what's happening. I don't, I don't know what's happening. All right, I think this is the ring attack. Yes. Whoop. You gotta do it twice. Sometimes. Oh, three times? That's bad. Didn't, didn't realize I hadn't got out of it, to be fair. Oh, no. Okay, we've got just enough room to run away from that attack. Like, just enough. I'm right at the edge of a cliff. I gotta, I gotta be real careful. If he explodes... Yep, 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 that's what I was afraid of. That's what I was afraid of. Roll too early. Ah! All right. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. I am the Lord. We got the other side of the deck. This medallion. Awesome. Alrighty, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do leave a comment and click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Thank you so much to this month's patrons. Patreon.com slash MrAsnLP. If you would like to join them, I genuinely could not do this without their support. Their names this month are... Zandemar, Iceclave, Brett D, Alex, Manuel Cetulo Garcia, Alex Lee, Curtis Coron, King Steel, that EV, Raptor Zero, Falcon 5982, Vipkin, Tri Magnus, Malcolm Davis, Aaron Bridges, Darth Hamos, Conrad 82, Lime Green, Daggy, Israfel, Meep Sheep, I Am Scarecrow 666, Justin Alexander, Nickerin, Trent 123, Bloodpire, Rexburum, Awena 1997, Luna Parker, Black Wolf 8994, Miss Justice 83, Shadow Sephiroth 666, Billy 9, KP Shadow Squirrel, Loot Smoke Soldier, Jonathan Eriks, Philip Rep, Dr. Pepper Penguin, and Hitbox. Thank you so much, everyone, and I'll see you next time.